Welcome to my channel. My name is Dennis Isong. Right there, I'm on site and I want to talk about a particular topic with a professional painter. And um, the topic we'll talk about today is how to have a perfect house finishing. You know, sometimes you can spend money doing your house, but you can end up not having a perfect finishing. You have some trees and the house will look somehow where in fall, it can look a mess. Today, I have a professional painter right here. I'm on site and he'll be telling us what we need to put together to have a perfect house finishing. I call him CNN International. He's an international painter. He works locally and internationally. I want him to use his mouth to tell us what he can do and tell us and advise us what we can do to have a perfect house finishing. So right here we have um, the CNN International um, by name Mr. Jackson, but let, let him introduce, introduce himself. Okay. My name is Mr. Jackson. They call me CNN International. Okay. Um, I am a professional painter in painting a house without having waves. Let's start from the brick layer. And in painting a house without having waves, uh, we have to take time when the brick layer is on the side. One, the brick layer has to finish plastering the house and on finishing, it has no way to use Prowell because using a trowel will bring the waves on the walls a of the What is a trowel? I, I want you to use it, the language that we will understand. What is a trowel? A trowel is a spoon that the bricklayer use in taking the mortar to the wall. And if after taking the mortar to the wall, the bricklayer does not have any hand in plastering the house with trowel. Rather, when he has put the mortar to the wall, he will use range and range the wall. Then after finishing ranging, then he wait for some few seconds or minutes for it to get dry. Then he will use board and rub the surface. Now, as no, let me ask you before you go further. Okay. You're making you're making reference to mortar. What is mortar? I want to use the language that we will understand what is mortar. Mortar is the mixture of cement and plastering sand. That will give them the mortar that are going to use on the wall for plastering. And now, what I'm trying to say is that a bricklayer don't have to use the trowel in finishing. Rather, he will use the plastering board. Okay. Um. Let me ask this. What is the effect of using the trowel in the finishing? The effect of using the trowel on finishing will be, after finishing, there will be waves. There will be waves on the wall. The wall cannot be straight. Rather, if after finishing, you will use, after using the range, you will arrange the, the plaster on the wall then after ranging he will wait for some few minutes for it to get dry then he will use board to do the finishing why he is using board to do the finishing is because when the screeder wants to come in and screed the house the screeder will get it dry let me ask you Please, I want you to really use the language you understand. What do you mean by screeder? Who is a screeder? What does a screeder do? Screeder is someone that screeded, someone that screeded the wall of the house with POP plaster and POP cement. Or POP plaster and POP paint. Addition with top bone to make it look smooth. Then, if that is done, you will find out that the house will be standing very straight without any waves on the wall. Okay, as you know, as um, as someone who let me put it this way, yeah, I want to build my house, 
all this grammar you are speaking, I don't know anything about it. But I actually want my house to come out straight. What are the things I need to put or I need to look for before I even employ anybody that will come and work in my internal finishing? You will look for a professional builder that have detailings in his hand. Okay. Before you can build a good house. And there must be a supervisor that goes around to check each and every work that is done, whether the brickler, whether the screeder, whether the painter. And if he does, if you do that, it therefore means your house will be in a straight form. But if you don't have anybody like that, you cannot get it right. Okay, let me ask you this. Um, what are the, if you want to mention three things you need to consider when you want to do your internal finishing, what are these three things? What are these three things you consider when you are doing your internal finishing? The three things that you will consider is the bricklayer that is plastering the house. Plastering number one. Then the screeder. Screed, screeding number two. Then the painting. And the painting number three. Then that is what you take in your hand. Okay. Um, the plastering has to do its work first. Okay, if you want to arrange it in terms of in terms of um, arrangement, which one comes first? Uh, the plaster man will be the first person. And after the plastering, the screeder will come in. Okay, um, I know plastering. And I believe what I could know. What if people listening to us don't know what, what is called screeding? What what does the screeder do? A screeder will come, uh, a screeder does screeding by buying POP paints and POP cement and bone, top bone. No, what I mean, in, in, in a very simple language, if I bring a, um, a screeder to, the, to your house, and um, what will the screeder do in a very simple language? What will the screeder do? To do what exactly? To screed the house. What do you mean by screeding in the layman language? Uh, screeding is by making the house to be more beautiful than the plastering work. Okay. More not smooth. Yeah, smooth. In most, yes. Smooth. smooth. Okay, making the work to be smooth. Yes. That's what the screeder do. And there are screening yes. machines that does that. No, not only screening machine, they can use equally hand. Okay. And the screeder, that's why I said a monitor man or a supervisor must be there. Not only to screed. But the screeder must do finishing in all that he's doing. By one, looking at the wall, at the end of screeding, then he has to make sure he finger the end of the screeding very well to wait to dry for some papering before the painter can come in. Or even if he does not sandpaper the house, the, screed, uh, the painters, when coming in, will look at the wall and then look at their screening machine and screen and no and sandpaper the whole wall with their sandpaper machines before we start painting. The, before no the painting will not commence then we will start maintenance we will start priming we will look at where it is not balanced then we do it before the original paint is applied to the wall. Oh, okay. fantastic. What you just said now, that means that before there are some things that must be put in place before you even start to paint. You make reference to priming. Yes. Some papering. Yes. And other, which other thing again needs to be put in place before you start painting? Uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, like uh, maintenance. Maintenance like what? Uh, the walls. During the, during the priming, the wall can report to you that there are some wall that has some little hole. Mm -hmm. Then they have to do that maintenance and then leave it to dry, some paper it, and prime that place again. Then when, after priming, you are, the house is set for painting. What is priming? Priming is uh, to remove the dust. It's like removing the dust of the sand, of the sand paper out from the wall. Okay. Okay, good. Then let's go to 
the part which I know you have strength very well, which has to do with the painting. Yeah. I know you're a professional painter. I've seen your work. Yeah. And when it comes to you, you based on the work you've done so far, I can see that you have bit, you have eye for details. Yes. When it comes to painting, painting, what what kind of paints or okay, okay, nobody's paying us to advertise now to advertise the kind of paints to use, but what are the quality of things you need to look for before you buy any paints? And uh, in like in where we are in our country, a lot of people are producing paints. But you must buy a pen that is acrylic. Hmm. What is acrylic? What is acrylic? The pen that is acrylic is not, not with calcium. Okay, how do you know a pen that, have, that doesn't have calcium? How do you know? Yeah, the pen that doesn't have calcium, when you apply it to the wall, you will put smooth. But any pen that have calcium, when you, when you paint the wall, the wall will come out with tears. Okay, what do you mean by TS? What is TS? TS are example like what you are seeing on the wall. Because this wall that you are seeing is painted with calcium pens. And that's why the wall are like this. But if it were to be acrylic or trade pens, you will not have this on the wall. So, so you're not sure, what do you, what, what do you mean by TS is those waves? Yes. Those waves. Those waves. Uh, uh, um, are those waves, are they not, um, um, no. are they not um, based on the painter um, um, inexperience or painter error? No. Because when the paint that you are buying is calcium made, like locally calcium made, you can have this. Okay. You have tears. There, there, there will be tears on the wall. But when it is acrylic, Base, you will not have tears. Example, like Dulux paint. Is it all Dulux paint? Like, yes, all Dulux paint. Don't doesn't have, have tears. No, doesn't have calcium. Then you can go to trade like John Stone, like a uh, vinyl silk mat. Trade and other foreign, American and British paint that are coming into our country that doesn't have anything but they come in 5 litre and 2.5 Let's talk about, are you saying that you don't have Nigerian paint that doesn't have calcium or that cannot meet the standard of all these foreign paints? Yes, uh, we don't have the foreign, we don't have Nigerian paint that is as strong and powerful as the American or British or whatever that comes out from outside Okay, Dulux, Dulux is not African, it's not Nigerian paint. No, the Dulux trade that we have in 20 liter is um, uh, Nigerian made. But they have made sure that the Dulux trade on 20 liters are really acrylic. They are all mats. They are not using calcium for manufacturing the paint. Why would, so, why would a company use calcium to manufacture? Uh, because of the, the money. It's cheaper. It's cheaper because of the money. Because you can have some paint here in Nigeria, 9,000, 10,000 per 20 liter. But do not straight as we are at today. It's about 56,000 naira per 20 liter. Two minutes? Yes. That is like four times or yes. five times the amount? Yes. Wow. What what is one last thing you can tell anybody that wants to build a house and want to have a perfect finishing? What advice can you give to that person? The advice I can give to because some people they 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 don't they don't have professional people around them. They just go along and take anyone. But I would advise people that when you are building a house, let's have a professional man and someone that will be there in the side to supervise the work and knows the work also. If someone knows the work, that is where you can get out of it. Thank you so much, CNN. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So um, this is the end of our, our, our interview with um, this professional painter. So whenever you want to get a property, you want to, you want to get a property, you want to paint a house and you need his contact, contact me, I can link you to with him. It's, a, it's good. Currently, one of my clients is actually um, doing his internal finishing and he's the one handling 
and learn it. So I've learned so many things from him. So I, I told him, all oh, what I'm learning from you, please come and tell my audience. Let them also learn too. Because he or he is he, he pay attention to details. So this is which by default I will not even see it when I go to go to a house, but he was drawing my attention to all those things. I was wow to see the uh, the end result of it. So thank you so much. My name is Dennis. So what I do is to give property that have potentials of appreciating very well. And in case you need property in Lagos, Nigeria, the best person to talk to is Dennis. So my name is Dennis. Song. And Amaka, you want to buy property in Lagos, Nigeria? Contact me. I appreciate you so much. <laughs>